Hey everybody, it's Jade Hey Shimoli here. I am here with another video for you guys. I haven't made one of these videos in a while, but I wanted to go ahead and do it now. So, if you're following me on my Instagram page, you know that I started taking up photography again. And if you have been following me on YouTube for a while, you know that I actually had a magazine to where I was doing photography for models. And uh, the name of it was Women in Shoes Magazine. And it was literally about women, empowering women, and their love for shoes. So, pretty simple, right? So, what I ended up doing, to be able to get, actually get back into photography again, I needed some new equipment. So what I ended up purchasing was this Canon right here. It's a Canon T7. All right. And it's, it's a Rebel T7. As you can see, you got the EOS right here on the side. And it shoots pretty, pretty, pretty good. And how I got this, I actually spent $27 on it and got it in the mail. And it literally just dropped it off on my door, put it in a box, and I just had to get it. And it came with a lot of different stuff. Some of these right here, it actually showed up with uh, two lens. So I have this first one right here. Let's see. This first one right here, all right? And this is a 18 to 55 millimeter. You can see that. And then I also got this one, which is a 75 to 300 millimeter. And I have been learning more about these because obviously the bigger the lens, the wider you can shoot and the closer you can get. So I've been learning a lot about that. And this whole thing comes with, let me show you actually how it showed up. I actually received this box right here. And everything that you see on the box is what actually came in <laughs> with the camera. So if you see that, all right, and you, all that stuff that's listed in here, it came with the camera. So you got the carrying case, you got the two lenses, and of course the camera. Now, it also obviously comes with this strap, so you can, of course, you can put it around your neck to hold on to it or for whatever, you know, those types of, those types of things. Uh, I already had a tripod, so I didn't have to purchase a separate one, and that's this right here. I'm actually rigging it now to put wheels on it for videos until I can get the ones that I do want. So that's that, and uh, I'm going to show you the case as well. All right, now here's the case right here. And it has can and everything on it. All right. And I have my own little things in here, but it's not a whole lot. Like I have uh, SD cards, you know, flash drives to hold uh, memory and images. And then also comes with this book. Now I have, of course, my notes written on it, but I'm going to show you. You know, it comes with this book. You know, that way, if you have any questions, you need any help with it being able to manage your camera, you can just go through here. Now, for me, if you are like me, I like videos. I like being able to try stuff out on my own and figure it out along the way. The good thing about that is you learn pretty quickly. The bad thing about it is if you don't prepare yourself for the next shoot, then obviously you're going to have to be doing a lot of trial and error on set, which is kind of tacky in my opinion. So just wanted to make this video. It wasn't expected to be very long, but basically letting you know that if you are looking to get into photography, really anything that involves you purchasing some type of device that's going to be a lot of money, look into something like Flex Shopper. Flex Shopper was actually great for me to get started. Uh, the camera is probably, at the end of me paying it, is probably going to be a little over $600. Um, with keep in mind, the camera, these types of cameras are actually good 400 anyway. So I'm okay with paying a little more to be able to use the camera for what I need it for. So I've been able to actually, you know, manage. And all I do is pay $27 a week. They don't cost me an arm and a leg. And all I got to do is set up photo shoots around my area. And I can pay that off with no problem. And if you get a good, because you, you can even opt out early when it comes to your payments. So if you don't pay like a good few months, you can actually opt out and pay the rest of it by... I think they, they will set up a date for you, like a timeline date, to let you know when is the best time to go ahead and pay early so you can pay that whole balance off. And then from there, you can go on to the next thing. So that's really what I would like to do, be able to get, of course, more photo, uh, photo shoots in, more uh, video shoots in. That way, it can pay for itself over time. So, and it comes with everything. The only thing that involves a business, if you want to grow a business, you want to make sure that you have your the right equipment to be able to grow that business and also be able to make sure that you monetize on that equipment as well. So, I just want to give you guys that type of information. If you're looking for it, this is great for you. And if you appreciated this video, definitely give me a thumbs up at the bottom of the video. Leave me a comment if you have any questions for me. And I'll be making more of these clips 
as I progress with my photography career. All right, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, all right?